He says, فَاسْتَبْشِرُوا بِبَيْعِكُمُ الَّذِي بَيَعْتُمْ بِهِ Take, you know, appreciate and be congratulated, feel congratulated over the sale you just made. The sale of giving yourself up and your money up in exchange for Jannah. Feel congratulated over that sale. Everyone around you will say you're a fool. You're missing out on life. You could have been doing so much with your youth. Man, you're, you're a good-looking guy. You're a young woman. You could have had anything you wanted and you're wasting it away with that hijab on your head and that scruffy beard you're trying to grow and you're trying to go to the masjid and pray and this and that. Man, we could have been having so much fun. You're just, you only live once. YOLO. You know, you only live once. Apparently to the kafir, yes. And he says, you're such an idiot. You're just wasting your entire college years. You're in the dormitory. You're by yourself. Your parents aren't here. You can hear the boom, boom, boom from down the, down the hall. You could be part of that party, man. They're having the time of their life. You know, I think your lab partner likes you too. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's not even Ramadan yet. You know, and you say, no, I just want Jannah. You're, you're stupid, man. You're stupid. Why can't you get smart? And then you just say, I, I, can't, I can't take this pressure anymore. Everybody's telling me I'm dumb, I'm making dumb. Am I really missing out on life? Am I doing this right? And then you open Allah's book, and Allah says, congratulations, you made a good sale. The only one to congratulate you in this scenario is not going to be your friends. It's not even going to be your family sometimes. The only one to congratulate you will be Allah. The congratulations will come from nowhere else. Nobody else will think you're making a wise decision. There are so many families, a father who owns like a liquor store decides he's going to get rid of it. And when he gets rid of it, they have to sell the house because he can't make the house payments anymore. So they're going to go from a house to an apartment. And the whole family is going crazy. What are you doing? We, have, we, we need the house. How are we going to live in an apartment? This is, the, this is the wrong idea. I don't know what's happened to dad. He's gone crazy. But the father knows the only one who's telling him, congratulations, my slave. You've made the right call. The only one who's telling him that is who? It's Allah. It's Allah. When you trust Allah, then let me tell you, people around you will question that trust. And they will make you lose that trust. And that's when you need to hold on to Allah's book. Because when you open that book and you read it to find hope, that's the only way to survive. This is why I started by saying we need an ummah that is directly connected with the word of Allah, the promise of Allah, the promise that never fails, which was the title of this talk. Every one of you needs to hold on to that promise. I see it as part of my mission to try to understand that promise and try to share what that promise is about as best I can. But that's not enough. All of you have to be on your own journey to understanding Allah's book. And not for any other purpose, but to seek Allah's advice and strength of, care, of will, of decision, that you can hold on to the right decisions and not back off again, not slip back into the darkness again. Some of you guys that are here, you've done some horrible things this year. But at least you're here now, and at least you heard some of this, and maybe some of this goes into your heart, and you decide from here on out, I will take the promise of Allah seriously. Whatever happened, happened. You know what, it's in the past, but it's not going to determine my future. I, I tell you, this is the last one, I promise, I'm three minutes over my time already. People will give up on you. People will give up on you. Allah never gives up on you. People will give up on you all the time. Parents will give up on you. A spouse will give up on you. Friends will give up on you. But Allah will not give up on you. People will judge you and can condemn you. Like this guy is bad and that's it. Case closed. Allah will never close your do his doors off of you. The only one who can close those doors permanently is yourself. Allah doesn't do it. Allah does not do that. Subhanahu wa ta'ala.